the uh, rice one side it will do one side and the stew just very little on the other side yeah and they mix it and it's a very nice combination you know when you eat that the way to mix the rice just go straight about the weird combinations that students actually eat in school when they go broke or when they have no money on them. So I decided I want to find out more about that. And as you can see today, I am in front of the Polytechnic of Ibadan to find out from the students in the school the kind of food they eat when they go broke and maybe they can show some of it. Let's find out from them. Join me. So I'm going to find an hostel now because I want to see the students there and I want to get to hear different thoughts from them and get to hear the different weird combinations they've had before and then maybe I can probably get someone that's going to prepare one of these meals for me so let's go, let's go find that out So I am at the Transformation Hostel right now to talk to students, to ask them food combinations that they've had before. I hope they'll be willing to talk to me. Join me, let's go ask them. So, are you a student? Yes, I'm a student. Okay, so how do you cope when you go broke in school? When I go broke at school sometimes, I do take... As there is no I'm going to be broke, I'll still, I'll still have some food at home. Just like Gary, you know, as a student, Gary, sugar, stuff like that. And sometimes I do have provision left, I do take conflicts, Goldie Moss, stuff like that. Like sometimes I take Gary, biscuits, granite milk, I mix together. You are still rich now, you're eating granite, biscuits, milk, uh, and Gary. Biscuit like Paligi, Costa. I'll grind it inside. Sometimes I don't use sugar. And sometimes I eat it like that. If I have gari, if I have sugar, if I if I have granite. That's why when I want to get my provisions, I get granite. So I do take gari, sugar and granite. If I have that, I'm a kind of person that don't eat much. So if I have that, I think that's okay for me. Maybe for a morning or night. I'm not used to eating them, but I've heard and I have friends who eat such combinations like beans and spaghetti okay. um is there eba. A guys call it? yeah that beans and spaghetti is called spaghetti spaghetti yeah spaghetti. then spaghetti. the likes of using um fufu to eat beans <laughs> yeah and um there's this combination of um rice and iwidu yeah yeah, the rice one side, it will do one side and the stew just very little on the other side, yeah, and they mix it. And it's a very nice combination, you know. When you eat that, the way to mix the rice just go straight. And like beans with with a bar. Imagine, you know. Ah, I don't know. Some guys that there are some guys that eat it uh, that but I, mean, I don't eat that kind of food, but there are other foods, you know. Like um, maybe um, curry with palm oil, you know, mix it together. Me, I can add sugar. Some but guys can add um, salt. I've seen someone taking, um, you know, a core or this um, cold pop that those market people sell. And do you know Robo? Yes, like yes, yes, that one. So I've seen someone taking them together, a core and Robo and water. That. I don't know how she hates it, but she was. I told her, and she was like, I should try it. It's actually cool, that it tastes nice. And I was like, ah, Why this? She was like, ah, What's the mango do? Mamo shall survive. So she actually had it that day. I think she had it for like two days or so. So I have a friend that has, he had um, Indomie and milk. He said it's really nice. He told me to try it. I've not tried it too. That's noodles and milk. Yep. Noodles and milk. He didn't go to the toilet and poop out his intestine after that. Mm -hmm. But bread and noodles. I've had bread and noodles. Bread and noodles. And how did that it's taste like? Really nice. Bread and noodles, bread and pap. And you didn't worry your belly? No, it's 
I even prefer bread and pap self over pap and nothing. Uh, apparently, I've had gari and plantain before. <laughs> um, then beans and a bar. <laughs> but um, okay, which other that one? Let me remember. Okay, gari and tomato paste. <laughs> taking like a cup of gari and just a little water and I was like ah, kilo de? and he said ah, so that the thing will swell very well <laughs> so you can live on it for like as long as possible yes there are times when in school the kind of friends you mix up with the peers your peer group at times also determine being with those kind of peers, you know, there are so many crazy things, so many crazy imaginations that will just come to your head when you're jobless, when you're broke, when there's no money, you know, you just come up with stupid ideas. Let's look forward to it. Okay, maybe this one has rice, this one has a do this one has steel, this has so combination of everything together, yeah, in a big bowl, exactly. Particularly when I was in hostel, everyone eats in one bowl. It's called One Nation. Yeah, we eat together in a big bowl, at least about 9, 11 of us. Really? How big yeah. is It's a bath, like this big <laughs> bowl to wash clothes, yeah. Yeah, we use a very big pot then, we turn it inside. Yeah, we cook a big pot of stew, a full pot, this Picasso size pot. We cook the pot of stew then, we turn all the stew inside the bowl, yeah. No, the rice first, the rice inside the bowl, then we turn the stew on it everything together have you ever tried eating spag and beans <laughs> it tastes like fried rice <laughs> i'm telling you totally it is delicious you know you you know in the process of making your beans when it's almost done, you know, um, spaghetti is tender and it, it tends to get done faster. So when your beans is almost done, you add it to it, then you add your ingredients. It's just going to be like you are preparing rice and beans. Very delicious meal, honestly. So I wouldn't say it's, it's actually a delicious meal. How does it feel like eating it? How does it taste like? Well, it's been a long time, so tasting this back again feels like, you know, making me remember, yeah, it's nice. Nice. Can I taste it? Yeah, why not? It tastes 
like unbleached palm oil and gary well that's what it is but how do you manage to eat this after this you take the water then that's all the stomach will be strong and you'll be sustained for the whole of the day so okay that's the idea sustenance for the whole day so you won't get hungry throughout again it is approximately you drinking cement to hold your stomach <laughs> yeah maybe if you say so but at least it's one of the best white food and that was a fantastic one we got to see the weird combinations that students get to eat when they go broke when they have no money in school and i even got to taste one of it and it tasted a little bit nice and did you guys see my slippers in the video did you see them i got them from blink things africa if you like them and you want to get one of them you can go to www.blinkthingsafrica.com and do not forget to like our video comment subscribe and share this video with your family and friends my name is jumai precious bye Butter. Butter.